Ryobi, Bridget, Milwaukee, The Wall, Makita. At the Home Depot for spring 2024. Like, time's flying by. Like, I feel like it was just like 2019. I just feel like it was like 1995, not that long ago. But my point is, is that if you're not subscribed and tapping the bell, then you are probably missing some of the best tool deals are probably flashing by. Just ask DSAC, he's down in the chat. Hello, Steven J, my son is here. Listen, everybody, if you are subscribed and tapping the bell, I will guarantee you, you will save money on the best tool brands from the best retailers in all of the tool industry. So don't miss out. Never pay full price for tools ever again. Let's start with a brand that is actually kind of, I'm not say winning me over, because they have still have a little bit of work to do, right? To fully like give my full endorsement. Like I need to see some longevity from Rigid, but I will tell you that they had been wowing me, wowing me since the time we made this video here. Go and check out that video. We met with Rigid executives, actually TTI executives, and we said to them, listen, we're on board with Ryobi. We feel like they serve uh, a segment of, of tool users and they're doing a great job. We see what's going on there, but we're not a big fan of rigid tools. And, and they, they were like, well, we have something to show you. You go and check in that video. You will see where I tell them, to their face, you will see it. And they were not too happy with me, but from that time, I was still a little bit leery about what was going on until I started really diving in and testing a lot of the tools for myself. Now, I will let you know that they have a whole bunch going on in this store like, for instance, they have their max output batteries. This is all part of the spring savings. These are all actually all new displays, which is pretty daggone awesome, if I ask me. Now, here's the deal. They have their max output for amp hour batteries here at $139. If you look at some of the competitive brands, their five amp hour batteries, uh, not max output, just standard lithium 18650 cells, they're more money than, than, their, than Rigid's max out battery packs. The other th kicker is, is that Rigid has a, a whole nother line of batteries. It's just, it, they're all compatible, but it's their EXP platform of batteries. They're like upgraded 18650 cells, 21700 cells, and in other instances, maybe they're not, EXP might not, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I know somebody's going to correct me. I already made a mistake. I can't believe it. it's too soon in the stream for me to make a mistake. It's impossible, but I have. I don't believe EXP has any packs that are 20, uh, 18650 cells. I think they're all upgraded 21700 cells or tablet cells that they've just announced in their EXP max output battery packs. So with that being said, they're all compatible forward, backwards. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is that I'm kind of excited what Rigid is doing with their platform at the moment. They have their subcompact brushless drill driver with a two amp hour battery kit, 119 bucks coming. Their standard two amp hour battery bag charger. They have the combo nation. It's like a, it's like a roast beef sandwich from uh, next roast beef. You know what I mean? Overboard. 169, you're getting their compact uh, impact driver, drill driver, two two amp hour batteries, charger, bag, and a buck 69. You can see here, they have a four point, now, you know, it's not in real time, this might've changed, but as of, as of January 8th, 2024, this, com this compact combination has a star rating of 4.775 stars, 4.7 stars out of five. Pretty, pretty, pretty doggone impressive if you ask me. Listen, here's the deal. What's up, lawn mower? Hey, Jeff Hardy, do me a favor. Don't, don't spam this, you know, you, yeah, I know you have an opinion. Don't spam the, the, the chat though, because what's gonna happen is we won't, if you're gonna be like, I think you had to sign like this whole, uh, or, or you had to like agree to the terms of the chat, Jeff Hardy, um, that if, you know, like be nice to everybody in the chat. I don't care if you're nice to me or not. Um, uh, don't spam the chat. And if you're gonna be a jerk, be a, be a funny jerk at least, otherwise the mods are gonna ban you. I don't want you to, I don't want you to get banned. It's too early for us to ban anybody. We will do it if we have to, but don't make us do it. Jeff Hardy, please. Hello, Kenneth Sears. Crazy Mike's already, the mod squad's already on board. I'm doing good, Kenneth Sears, how you doing? Hello, Crazy Mike, thank you for, thank you for moderating the chat. Don't ban him though. Let's see if he can clean it up. He says, Rigid's not bad for the price. Yes, sir, I agree. Wow, cause you're like a flip-flopper though. Like, at least, come on.
Come on, bro. Either it's trash or it's good. Or you, or you like it. It's not bad. Which one is it, bro? Come on, make up your mind, Jeff Hardy. Are you like from the Hardy Boys, Jeff Hardy? I want to know. Farmer Bizzle, how you doing? Listen, here's the deal. If you're trying to grab my attention, do what Farmer Bizzle has does, does has done. Type at BCG Construction. It highlights my name so I know you're speaking to me. And I could I could give you an answer to your question, your comment, concerns. That's good, Kenneth Sears. No, Crazy Mike, I wanted to read that. I don't know. The Slack Rack. He says, what's up, Cosbo? Looking forward to more videos. I'm going to get seven years of good luck. You're the man. Listen, do what Slick Rick has done. Type at VCG Construction. This way, you'll get seven years of good luck. Also, when you smash the like button, it helps with the, the, the ratio. This way, the stream doesn't get, like, there's a ratio of viewers to likes. Okay? What happens is, is that if the ratio is not in order, it ruins the, the audio and visual quality of the stream. YouTube limits the bandwidth. They send out like extra bandwidth to like Jake Paul, you know what I mean? So he can promote his next boxing match or something. Don't let them reallocate our bandwidth to Jake Paul. Okay? If you like tool deals, smash the like button. It's free for you to do. Doesn't doesn't cost you a dime. You'll get some years of good luck. Now listen, here's the deal. I kind of like Jake Paul. I think he's a good hype man. I wish he was here helping to hype up this stream. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay? But I don't want him to take my bandwidth. All right, here we go. Let's get back to the deals. Enough horsing around, Jeff Hardy. Stop horsing around. Here it is. You got your choice. You got your choice now. Uh, here's the, like this doesn't even like I gotta be honest with you. All right, here, here I'm gonna get get down to the nuts and bolts of this. They have a tool tool combo. This is not their brushless tool tool combo. This is their standard combo drill driver impact driver. Coming two two amp hour batteries. It's coming charger bag at a buck forty nine. They also have. A max output 4 amp hour starter kit, which includes Ridge's charger, as well as a 4 amp hour max output battery pack. Here's the deal, it's a buck 49. So, quite frankly, why buy the standard 4 amp hour? Why would buy, it's not a standard. Let me rephrase this. Let's make, let me make this make sense in my mind mentally, because I'm tripping over my words, because it's so confusing, okay? Here's the deal. If you can get the Max output 4 amp hour battery and charger for $149. Would you ever really consider buying the max output 4 amp hour battery for $139 without the charger? Now, if you disagree with me, leave it down in the comment section. Put it in the chat because it just doesn't make sense to me why you wouldn't want the additional charger for 10 bucks. Now, here's the thing. In this location, they're right next to one another, so you're not going to miss out on paying the extra 10 bucks and getting a charger. But if they were on other ends of the store, you didn't know it was here, you might miss out. So make sure you're subscribed and watching the videos so you don't miss out on a deal on rigid batteries. Yo, Jeff, yo, Jeff Hart, yo. Jeff Hardy, I, I, I just got to be honest with you, Cosbo. You're, you're on borrowed time right now. Like, Lon Mower hid you, and then he unhid you. So don't let him hide you, bro. You were timed out, then you were hidden and unhidden. Now you're unhidden, cuz, but you're timed out still. Jeff Hardy, when you come back, you better be all loves, loves and hugs. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, the mods, they seem like they're extra feisty today. Something must have happened. Somebody must have peed in their Cheerios this morning. I love it when they're all fired up. You got the rigid. 10 inch double bevel motor saw. It's not a slider, but it is a double bevel. Zero to 48 degrees left and right bevels. So you could bevel to the left and bevel to the right. $199. Wow. Cuz, Lon, you'll never have to explain to me, Cuz, Bo. You could time them out. You, could, you can time them out. You can hide them, unhide them. Cuz, you're the mod squad. You know what I mean? That's so I don't have to deal with it. You can do whatever you want to do, bro. You could, you could do whatever you want to do. Hide them, unhide them. Don't matter. Don't matter to me. When Vince said don't spam, he matched. Right, crazy Mike. You tell him. All right. We got some Milwaukee deals here right out. Out's the gates. Okay, for 1997. Okay, they have a whole bunch of hand tool deals here, but we're gonna start with they got the 17 foot reach wide blade, but it's a non magnetic stud. Isn't this not? No, it's not the stud. It's just a wide blade. I actually like this tape measure. To be honest with you, it's got it's got a really nice amount of reach. Like, I don't really believe that it has 17 foot of reach. Okay, you see what I mean? Like, I, I'm like at, at five foot. It probably will go to like eight, nine, ten feet, but there's, there's there's no way. Matter of fact, matter of fact, 
if you wanted to see how the Milwaukee tape measures fare in, a, in a, an all-out comparison between multiple brands and all, go to this video right here. You'll see the standout on the Milwaukee tape measures. Don't miss it. Because I'm afraid if I, if I try to do full standout tape, tape measure testing here at the store, they might not like it. Uh, you know, I, I love this store. $19.97. You got a six-piece screwdriver set from Milwaukee. You got a nice little mix of, uh, of uh, plus and minus screwdrivers. Here's the minus screwdrivers. Here are the pluses. These are magnetically charged. These are, mag these are negatively magnetically charged. These are positively magnetically charged. You know what I mean? It's like the plus and minuses of a magnet. This way, see, see, like they're magnet, look, it says magnetized, strong magnetic tips. These are the minus magnet, magnetized. If you need to draw a screw towards you, right, that is positively charged because opposites attract on magnets. These are screws that are negatively charged. You want to use the plus screwdrivers. So they have them here, $19.97. What do you think about them magnetically charged screwdrivers? Let me know down in the chat what you think about that. Let me see here. MW System says, what battery shop vac for small jobs or homeowners? Here's a question, MW Systems. Are you on an existing like platform? Because quite frankly, like if you were to tell me you were on Ryobi, uh, Rigid, Milwaukee, all of them have some type of very compact um, shop vac. <clears throat> That would serve you well, I would suppose. Me personally, um, if you're talking Milwaukee, I like their two gallon uh, briefcase vac. I also like their two, two and a half gallon um, pack out compatible, which has been like reduced drastically, we've seen recently. So there's a lot of choices there. Here's the thing though. I will tell you, for small service jobs, when we're going in for service work, after we've done the initial installs, we have to go back or do brake fix or whatever it is, I'm done bringing full-size vacuums in that require cords. It is just ridiculous. I don't want to have to drag them through. I am all about small portable light, and there are a ton of great... Now, if you're, if you're, if you're shopping Lowe's Home Improvement, you know, you could get a Flex. Or uh, what else do they have there? They might have like, they have, you could get the DeWalt, you could get the Kyo Ball. There's a whole bunch to choose from. You have to tell me, what's up, Larry Cook? Nick Pexel TV. Where you kind of been, Cosbo? What have you been doing? Huh? The missus loves the flex. She loves the flex. Nick Pexel TV. Yo, Nick Pexel TV. Where you been? Hello, Joseph De Palma. Think what means Phillips and No, Cosbo, come on, Cos. You're too literal. You're too literal. These are the negatively charged screwdrivers. These are the positively. It depends on your screws. All right, $17.97. There's a whole bunch of hand tools here for the electricians. Okay, we got uh, comfort grip, long nose pliers, or needle nose, as we call them, lay terms. Okay, we got the seven inch diagonals pliers, cutting pliers. These are generally called wire cutters, but okay. And then we have the wire strippers. Yo, everybody loves a nice stripper, right? Wire strippers, that's right. Bro, I'm the storm drain carpenter. Your storm drain carpenter. Because you do what? You make the forms when you pour the concrete? What is it you do, cuz? I want to hear more about your job. I love it. You keep the water flowing from our roadways. I appreciate the job that you do, my friend. Matabo. What's up there, Mono? How you doing? Which Matabo? German Matabo? Or are you, uh, are you uh, Matabo HPT? We want to know. I will tell you this much. A lot of people don't realize. We are at Home Depot, so I like to keep it to like the brand sold here. But a lot of people don't realize that Metabo HPT does have a limited lifetime warranty on like all their tools. So there's a lot of value there. What's a good, what's good brother? Could you show off the shop vacs? Uh, which ones bro? Which ones? I will go up the shop vac aisle. Matter of fact, I could use a little extra suction. You know what I mean? I could use a little extra suction. We'll find, we'll find what's going on with the shop vacs. I think there was a, a deal going on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a little spoiler though. For, for all of you that are tuning in, you're like, oh, I don't like any of these power tools. There is a huge discount that I'm seeing. <clears throat> I don't know if it's in all locations. I was actually in here. The reason I'm here today is I was here, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Huge amount of deals on uh, mechanics tools here. S wrenches, combination wrenches, uh, swivel sockets. There's like huge, huge, huge discounts. So I'm gonna show you some of them as well. Yes, Cyrex. You know what I mean? Yo, what's... How do you feel better, Maxby? The missus says... What'd you say? Oh. How do you feel better, Maxby? 
The missus says she hopes you feel better, Max. But I hope you're feeling better too, Cosbo. How's everything? Having a difficult keeping up with the live stream tonight because, dude, yo, Max, B, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Discord after and see what's going on. Sorry to hear that. All right, here we go. They got some some uh, recip saw blades here from from uh, Milwaukee as well as oscillating multi tool blades. Here's one that caught my eye. I really like though. Uh, they have t your choice uh, impact duty sockets in standard. Okay, the Queen's English here. Or a metric, twenty four ninety seven comes with your a quarter by three eighths adapter. The good part, they don't come on a rail, which kind of stinks, or even like a nice silicon ring like Makita does, which I prefer. But these are pretty doggone nice because these sockets, the numbering is not printed. Okay, it's they're they're engraved or whatever you want to call. They're they're what, what, what is the word I'm looking for on these? We're going to call it engraved. They're stamped. I think they're stamped, okay? And then they're painted for high visibility. Now, if that paint wears off, you can always fill that back in for easy grabbing yell so you know what you're using. But the, la, the missus says, hi, Larry Cook. The missus is actually in the house, full, full effect tonight. Here's the deal. Usually when we see like the deals here on the, on the gondolas or the gondolas here, you, you can find the standards. Never, they, they, they hardly ever have metric. I like that they have both. Happy anniversary, Anthony and his wife. It's Anthony Woosley? And Woolsey? His wife are having says, hi, Vince. Hope you and the missus are having a great night. Me and the missus are celebrating our anniversary. How many years, Cosbo? Happy, Happy anniversary. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you for finding each other and making each other happy because we all deserve to be happy. And I will tell you this much. I've been blessed. I have the perfect wife, the perfect person. And I think everybody, you know, deserves to be happy. And my wife makes me unbelievably happy. I have Anthony, congratulations to you. 11th year. Huh. Everybody deserves to be happy. Whatever brings you happiness, whatever, whoever that partner may be, I think you all deserve to be, meet and be with that person. Now here's the, that's right, Michael Brazer. Here's the deal. <clears throat> if you, if you can find one, right? I was lucky enough to, Baffle, baffle my wife into into staying with me this long. It's like unbelievable. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> All right. They also have Shockwave Impact Duty drill and drive set. Here's the thing. I think I need to go over. I, I don't know what it is. Everybody, tell me if I'm wrong. But I feel like <clears throat> here's the deal. I don't know. If you're not just getting the information that you need on Milwaukee Tool, I feel like when it comes to like the Shockwave bit set kits and cases, I feel like people aren't realizing that they've been greatly improved. If you if you want to know, like if you want a full length video or you want a something long form that goes over all the features and functions of how those Shockwave bit sets have been improved, I will do it because I see the same comments about the kits over and over again. And, and all of those complaints that I see in the comments have been addressed. Like they've been addressed, like, and it's been a, at least a generation. I think maybe I have to do that. But I like this kit, <clears throat> especially because it has a, a nice amount of um, accessories in here. It's not the cheapest per piece at $29.97. Okay, you're, you're talking about, <clears throat> if we do the mathesis, and I know I promise not to ever do math on stream ever again, but I'm gonna break that promise tonight to make you better informed because that's what I like to do. I like to inform people on making the best purchasing decisions. So we're, we're at 59, 60 cents a piece on this kit, okay? But you are getting two nut setters in there, which these are, have been greatly improved. You have a quarter by three eighths adapter if you wanted to use that with sockets. We have some other <clears throat> red helix titanium drill bits, which are quarter inch compatible. We have a quarter by quarter magnetic adapter. We have some two inch bits, which I actually used to despise. Now I really like them because of this cheap shockwave <laughs> bit, bit fix. Go to that video there. Okay, we have some combination bits in there as well. We have only a few one inch bits you could see a, a sum up here and some down here okay but 
here's the deal. The, the combination of one inch bits in here is pretty fantastic when you think you have two number three bits in here. A lot of times, even higher kit count kit kits you only find one number three bit these are great for commercial uh commercial contractors me especially i appreciate having plenty of those we have robertson we have square we got torx in here this is, a, this is a nice kit especially for a remodeler that is going to encounter maybe even in older homes a wide assortment of fasteners because here's the deal the standard for fasteners uh, in, in electrical boxes, plumbing fixtures, everything changes frequently over a number of years. So where you might be finding Phillips now, or you might have might find Torx now, might have been slotted years ago, or a Robertson, or so it changes. It's good to have a kit that has everything that you're going to need. I want to say a special thank you to Absent Scopes for a five dollar haul. I'm gonna hit the the heart on that. Yo, there's like five thumbs up. Yo, there's like five thumbs up on his comment yo that's that's cool that's an improvement when somebody makes a super chat do you see that you everybody in the chat can actually thumb up his comment did you do it yeah yo that's cool that's a great way to yeah, celebrate you can thumb, you can thumb. yeah that's a great way to celebrate the people that are contributing to the stream because quite frankly we appreciate the help because Phones cost money, bandwidth costs money. T-Mobile doesn't allow us to stream for free and we're, we recognize the people, it's never required. But we, we're, we, we're, you know, listen, I, I come from humble, very humble background, right? I even, when I was younger, had a tough time like getting presents. I was, it was very foreign to me, like for birthdays and stuff like that. It was very weird for me, uh, but I was always taught to say thank you uh, and, and, and let people know that who, who did give us any type of presents, always acknowledge it and say thank you. So that's what I do here, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so I, I like that kit. But there are like, there are great improvements. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make a video about that. Armando Rios, can we see some Klein tools, if any possible? I will go up that, you know, that's a great, that's a great question, to be totally honest with you. I don't know how many Klein tools are actually left in Home Depot, and it might be a location to location thing, but I'll check because I'm, I actually am kind of, I'm kind of wondering, I will tell everybody, <clears throat> somebody um, corrected me and I, I appreciate that. I don't remember their name, but I had called out this kit last week as, as Rigid's most powerful combo. And they were like, it's not, it's not, it's not the most powerful. And it is not the most powerful. It's still a pretty stellar kit though. When, you, when you're looking at it, you're getting a hammer drill, impact driver, both brushless, so these are their top line tools, it's just not their most powerful. You're getting a uh, max output four amp hour battery, max output two amp hour battery, charger bag at $249. Now, they might not be the most powerful, but you'll still get a lot of good, good work done with them. They also have, for $129, three pack of two amp hour max output batteries, as well as <clears throat> for $129, we have uh, their brushless quarter inch impact driver. Now here's, here's a question. Here's a question for all of you. I want to, I want to see here. <clears throat> Can't read that. It's like, I, I, I want to go right to the information. And, and like, I, I, for some reason, when, you, when you're doing this on camera, you never, you can never do it as quickly, quickly as you'd like. Why, why? Oh, here it is. 2311B. I don't know that this is their most powerful. I don't want to go crazy with this, this little goose. Whoa. This is 4200 IPM. Yo, this might be even more powerful than the one I have. I don't think so though. How many RPMs do we have here? So it's 2,900 RPM, 4,200 IPM. So this is the one that I have, I believe. This is three, three speeds. I think it's four modes though. Should have a tightening mode. Can somebody help me please? Three speeds, this might have a tightening mode. 2,300 in pounds of torque. Three speeds. Uh, includes three-speed impact. Doesn't tell me all the. I don't know. 
I think this is the, the most powerful. This is, I don't believe that this is the same as this. I could be wrong. Yo, whoever that dude was last week, if you can come back and correct me again, please. Because I, I'm just not seeing it here. We're doing it on the fly. Yo, cuz. Absent scopes. What a $10 holler. We're going to have to hit a heart on that. And, whoa, we don't want to do that, though. We have to put the, the thumbs up on it. Thank you. He says, thanks for going out and showing us these great deals. Listen, here's the deal. I appreciate the $10 holler. It really, it really helps. We appreciate that. I like the actions. I like your little action is incorporated above there. Uh, your, your, I like your little logo. But absent scopes, I have a great time doing this. The missus, you know, we wanted to come out and uh, we had some sh little shopping to do, right? I wanted to browse around because during the week when I come as a contractor, I don't necessarily get to slow down and look at everything. I'll breeze through here. Like I saw this, but I didn't. I just saw that this was here the last time I was here but I didn't get a chance to look at everything. Balaki, what's up, Balaki Johnson? How you doing? What's up, Moses? Kaboom, he's in the stream. All right. Yo, you, Matt, says you look like you're constipated. I, I just took a, a massive dump before I came out tonight to do the stream. I had a shower. What do you, t you S what is it? S, S, S. I didn't do the shave part, though, but I did the other two parts very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Hello, Car Charlton Zimmerman. All right. Randy Matthews in the stream. What's up, Cosbo? Yo, 129. We got more choices here. We got the Brussels Compact Router. We got their D-handle jigsaw. Not a fan. Only because I like I like the barrel grip jigsaw. Six amp hour battery. Yo, it, yo, I gotta be honest with you. I think we got a little glitch here in the matrix. There's like five over, there was like 700 people watching here a second ago. Please, if you're enjoying the stream in any capacity and you're here in more than like a minute, I appreciate you watching. I'm having a great time. I love the chat. Thank you, everybody that's here. If you could just smash the like button. We don't want to get ratioed and the bandwidth get reallotted to, to Jake Paul for an advert on his next boxing match. So we need to send a signal to YouTube that you're enjoying the stream if you're watching. Otherwise, what they'll do is they'll, re, they'll reallocate the bandwidth to to like you know pretty much jake paul i think they're relocate they're reallocating all the band with jake paul nowadays okay because of the mike tyson fight and what's going on there don't let them reallocate our bandwidth the very cool gang bandwidth to jake paul smash the like button it's free for you to do it doesn't cost you a dime you'll get seven years of good luck please if you're enjoying it also the audio visual quality gets gets better it's like it makes everything so much better don't cost you a dime okay they also have the four mode half inch mid torque impact of wrenches at 129. It's crazy. Look at it. A lot, of, a lot of choices here. I will let everybody know though, in the other location that I frequent in South Jersey, they had some rigid batteries, the max output batteries, clearanced out. They were clearancing them out. If you, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you to go to this video here. Uh, there was like some stellar deals there. Don't don't miss that one. Rigid run, it, rigid run. But working on it, cuz but it's gonna come. It's gonna come. I swear. Yo, that's right. You tell him, Charlton Zimmerman, save Vince's bandwidth, please. <gasps> save, save, save. All right. Here's another one that deserves some mention. This is, and I have to just say that that. Um. You know, look, this is the deal. I think that something should be said for independent reviewers, right? Because a brand can tell you anything that they want. They're always, gonna, they're always going to sugarcoat everything to look the best when they present it. And we've tested, we've tested hands-on uh, stuff from Rigid and all, but I kind of lost interest. I didn't really see as much movement as I thought there was going to be, and it was, I thought it was a little stagnant. I didn't realize how much work they were doing behind the scenes and when they started to release these new batteries i didn't really think much of it i didn't think it was going to be so crazy add so much more power i think that uh, diligent dave who is a viewer here uh he would comment drop some comments vince you gotta you gotta test that rigid tool you gotta test it with the exp batteries then he was like yo you have to test the impact driver and hammer drill with the eight amp hour 
EXP battery. He said it turns jack, he didn't say it. I, I, this is my phrase. He just said it's, it's crazy how much extra power it adds. And I, I kind of, at first, I, I kind of was doing it just to like, I wanted to confirm it. And if, if I, you know, and prove him wrong, if, I, if, if he was wrong. And so, so what I did was, and here's the deal, like, this is the, the thing. It, it's, you know, Diligent Dave is a, is a, um, he's a stand-up dude, right? He's very respectful. He, he adds to the conversation in a meaningful way. And he would leave comments. I would, you know, and I would, I would test things. And here's the thing. If, if something is, if he's seeing something going on other places, he tests it for himself. I like that. He's confirming other people's results to see if he, if he can get a similar result. My point is, is that if you're watching some of my videos, which everything is on point, like we, we would never shade anything in favor of any single brand. We do everything that we do is all 100% unbiased for the viewer. It's all for the viewer, not for any brand, okay? That's number one. But if you feel like, and people are just, they will start, when their brand loses, they'll cry. Oh my God, oh, you, you did this, you did that. So here's the deal. I will, I will generally answer some questions and do retests. But if you feel like things are being shaded in a way that's, that, you're, that you think is not a true result, I challenge you to do the test yourself and tag us if you tag us with your result at VCG Construction in a short here on YouTube. Julio! Yo, you ever see Easy Money? Julio! <laughs> I love it. All right, so this, my point was is that this battery has upgraded 21700 cells. Here's the crazy part though. I don't know what the heck they're upgrading them with because this, this, this battery pack is a beast. That was, my, that was my whole point. That's the whole thing I wanted to get to. It's a beast. For 319, Rigid has their rear handle saw, which I'm, spoiler alert, I wanna tell everybody, I have that saw. I'm gonna test it, okay? So if you wanna see it, I, I'm gonna rephrase this. I have that saw available to me. And if you're interested in seeing it tested, I will do that. So put it down in the chat, put it in the comments, if you wanna see it. If you don't, I, then I don't wanna make the video, be honest with you, because I, I don't wanna waste my time if you don't wanna see it, so let me know. But here's the deal, $179 for the battery, they're giving you the eight amp hour battery in that kit, you're getting a charger, a rapid charger bag, and the saw for 319. I kind of like that deal a lot. Now, here's the one I talked where I, I, I kind of got confused last week between this kit and this kit. Gentlemen in the chat uh, just confirmed and helped, and I appreciate that. They're not the same kits. This $349 kit gives Rigid's highest end ha brushless hammer drill, impact driver. You're getting a four amp hour uh, max output lithium battery, six amp hour max output charger in a hard case, 349. I'm gonna tell you right now, this impact and that hammer drill, okay, with this eight amp hour battery, th they're like, they are crazy powerful crazy powerful the cats says you should put together a compilation video or a reaction video to those who take you up on the challenge that's a you know what cause that is a good idea my friend i like that idea i'm gonna have to put that i'm gonna put that here and i'm gonna you know what? i just might make make a like a, a note in my in my smart device Rigid Ron, give the rigid rear handle saw a workout. I'm, I'm gonna have to do it, cuz. Kyle, Kyle E. Say, hey Vince, I'm a third year electrician and my DeWalt impact finally died. Looking to make a switch to Milwaukee. Should I buy the Surge or the fourth gen impact? All right, so here's the deal. I don't know what you're doing as an electrician. Like if you're roughing in and you're using, using that impact to rough in, then I would say get the, get the fuel, okay? If you're, if you're using it to tighten down devices, then I would say get the Surge. Okay, but here's the deal. If you're on the wall and you have plenty of batteries, I would tell you to wait like, I don't know, a couple more days or a couple more weeks <laughs> because the wall just go to this video right here. The wall did not announce, but we have footage of a brand new 860 uh, impact driver from the wall. 
the numbers, the specs on it make it probably the most powerful in the industry, number one. Number two, uh, I saw some prelim preliminary tests uh, of the 860 versus the 850. 850 has very similar specs and torque curve to the 887. The 860 shamokes, shamokes, if that's even a word, the 850. And here's the other thing. As a matter of fact, we're right here, right? We're right now. Here's the 850. When you look at, like, I've shown you, I've shown you pictures in the past of the 850, and they look like they're very similar in size. They're not. When you see them side by side, the new 860 is much, it is a much, okay, it's, oh, let me, let me see if I can get, okay, the, the eight, this is the 850, the 860 is longer and it's fatter. It's a, who doesn't like, you know, it's a Renato Salagi. Cuz, you seen an 870, bro? Really? Is there such a thing? Yo, the arch criminal just showed up. Eric Felix, he says TTR events, maybe some search souls could be tested. We could do that, actually. I would be open to doing that. Uh, search souls, we could do like rips. We could do running rips. We could do some cross cuts. We, could, we can go through a depth of cut. There's a many ways to test search saws. The only thing is, is that <clears throat> when it comes to testing search saws, it can be tested. Like, it, it, you know, I, I, those are like the TTRs where I'm a little sketchy on having verses like I don't I don't want it to be about operator because I wouldn't want somebody to get hurt so we're gonna have to think about oh dude I, you're right Renato Salvaggi says the 870 oil like the surge it, it you're Renato Salvaggi is correct they do have a yo I don't remember who's who that it was uh who was the who just it was Kyle Kyle they have uh a a competitor for fuel for for from the wall in power, right? And they also have a competitor for Milwaukee Surge in an oil impact. Renato is 100% correct. Thank you, Renato. I like that you gave me more con context. Riot Raven, listen, bro, if, if the closest store to you is, 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 why can I not get the words out? If the closest store to you is indeed um, Walmart, then bro, li listen, I mean, I wouldn't suggest, we've, we've done it, time and time again that um heart is like a poor replacement for ryobi i think that ryobi is a better answer than heart but like for instance if you're in a town and there's only a harbor freight there's only a, a, a walmart and you you can you know and that's what you got to buy that's what you buy right I, I think that they're not a bad brand i just think that you get more bang for your buck and more options with Ryobi. That's just my, that's one, that's one person's opinion. Okay, more rigid deals before we move into the D wall. So for 139, they have that four amp hour max output battery. They also have that three inch multi material saw or little compact cutoff saw. And then they have the one handed recip saw for a buck 29. Now here's the deal that one handed recip saw for 129, that is their, their subcompact brushless. You can go to that video. I already linked it up there where I told uh, rigid executives. The president, the president of the company, I'm not a big fan of their tools. You can go. We saw. We we were there. We we did the test. Me and another. Uh, um, he was. A, he's a TikToker. You could go and watch the video. It's me and a, and a, he's a TikToker. Uh, his name's the Tool Review Zone. Go and check it out. Where we tested them. Those tools. David Feldman says three ten watch and one hundred and thirty likes. So there's like seven hundred people here. And there's only like three. I gotta tell you something, bro. I, you know, I appreciate everybody that actually took the time to hit the like button because it helps with the bandwidth here on the stream. It makes sure we get our share of bandwidth. We don't get ratio. We don't want Jake Paul getting on the bandwidth to promote his next fight against Mike Tyson. Now listen, here's the deal. I love Mike Tyson. Quite, quite frankly, I grew up, I can't even think, like you think about some of the greatest athletes and performers, they're like all named Mike. Which one, you name, you're like Mike, Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, I mean, like, think about, like, all the people we, in my, that are my age. Like, these are people that we, like, idolized. They are some of the greatest performers in all of their, of their industry. It's, like, um, amazing. Love Mike Tyson. Love him. Mike Tyson, my, my, you, know how many, you know how many times, okay, I played Little Mac. I was Little Mac, and I just wanted to get up into the ring with Mike Tyson. Okay? If you're old enough, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, 279, you'll see here, they got... 
<sighs> they have the XR, an atomic combo kit with two four amp hour batteries and a charger. Not bad, I'm sure it comes with a bag. For 279, they have the Watt's crazy rotary hammer. Okay, this is their compact rotary hammer, which I really like. It's a one inch. They're calling it an L shape. I feel like it's the first time I ever heard that. Okay, if you wanted to see the Watt's rotary, uh, rotary hammers in action, go to that video right there. You're gonna be amazed. Like if you thought if you thought that like the wall was just known for 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 large diameter saws, you'd be wrong. It's so crazy what they do with their rotary hammers. They have a five amp hour. They're calling this a five amp hour power stack starter kit, but it's, a, it's saying compact and five amp hour. So this is the Waltz power stack batteries. They're using pouch lithium cells. They're not using cylindrical cells inside these pow these packs they're very similar to milwaukee's forge the problem is is that i i feel like nobody even knows what milwaukee's forge is at this point i, I like keep on going over and over what these these different cells are i feel like the brands i don't know if they're not communicating it as it, like as, as well as they should these battery packs like, I don't, I don't know how many times I like, can have to explain it. There, you're able to get more watts out of a smaller battery pack to run larger tools. You're able to recharge these battery packs much faster than you, you could charge a standard battery pack. They will recharge four and 500 times more, no, three to 400 times more than a cylindrical cell pack. And they only cost, in some instances, marginally more than a cylindrical cell pack. Sometimes they're even less. So my point is, is that I feel like people don't realize what's going on. And people will go, oh, no, rapid charging is no good for batteries. What, what happens is, is that these use a pouch lithium cell that have much bigger contacts in and out of that cell, which means it has much less resistance. Resistance is what causes the heat. Well, you eliminate the heat in these packs by using that pouch lithium cell, and that's what allows it to not only be more rapidly charged, but recharge more times. So you're paying maybe marginally more for something that will last you three to 400 times more. I feel, I, don't, I just feel like people are not, I, I don't know what it is. I feel like people aren't paying attention or what's going on with the batteries like here's the thing that is going to be the next step that's going to get us to the next level of power tool okay and whether it, it ends with i don't think it ends with pouch lithium i think that we pouch lithium we go maybe go to tablets and something else will come but this is the next step I, I like people have to realize like this is this is huge this is pouch lithium is like when Tool brands went from NICAD to lithium. That's, that's what's happening right now. Daniel Yu says, appreciate you. Vince and the missus love all that you do. Keep it up. Yo, Daniel Yu, we appreciate you cuz. I'm gonna give that a heart and a thumbs up. Yo, thank you cuz. We appreciate the $10 holiday. Daniel Yu, thanks for helping making this stream happen. I know a lot of people have been asking, yo, what's this? What's this button do? Yo. Right now I'm on, uh, yo, if we go to eight millimeter, look at it. Yo, you like that green? Like, I didn't even realize you could do all this. We could do, like, there's all kind of features in here. Eight millimeter, dream, normal, glamor. It's the glamor. I don't want to go, I don't want to have the green. Nice. All right. So, <laughs> what's up, Port? How you doing, cuz? How you doing, Port? How you doing? All right, <clears throat> a lot of you have been asking when Milwaukee will come out with a roofing nailer for, you know, when they're coming out with their cooler roofing nailer. Listen, here's the deal. Even if I knew, I couldn't tell you. Like, I, could, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you until it was officially announced because, like, bad things would happen. Right? How bad? I, it's, they're so bad, I, I can't even disclose how bad the bad things are. Like, it's, it's, it would be bad. But I can tell you this. The Walt has a <laughs> coil roofing nailer for $389. You get a kit, two amp hour battery, charger, and a bag. Now you know. Yo, Carlton Zimmerman. 
Yo, who is it? Mr. Um, what was it called? Mr. Uh, yo, the, Siri wants to know if I want you to, if I want to call you uh, Carlton Zimmerman. Uh, Mr. Fusion. Yo, you imagine the power tools will be powered by Mr. Fusion. It will be great. It'll be great, Mr. Fusion. All right, for 199, we got some flex volt deals here. We got the brushless 60 volt max grinder, four and a half to six inch. 199. They got the flex volt 60 volt max surf saw. Tested this one. It's a based, and this is not flex volt advantage. This is flex volt. Okay, it does have a break. It is seven and a quarter. Then they got yo. This is the other thing that's pretty doggone crazy. 199. They have the the the, the uh, flex volt recip saw. It's not flex volt advantage. This is flex volt. This thing is missing. Like uh, unless unless this this one ha has better features now. Maybe this is another generation. This is missing like a lot of features that other recip saws have. But it it cuts it cuts pretty doggone fast. Just saying. Hashtag. For 199, we got that flex volt, 20 volt, 60 volt, six amp hour battery pack with char. It's coming with a charger. I didn't realize. I thought it was just a battery pack. 199. So it is, it is indeed a starter kit. It is indeed a starter kit. Look at it. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. Yo, we got the black and golds. Sam Wilker, Wilker, Winkle Cotter. What do you want me to go back to? DNIW. You got to listen. Here's the deal. Keep, uh, keep reminding me and I'll, I'll go over to the, uh, to the vacuums. Uh, I, I promise I'll check. What's the power stack deal above it? <clears throat> the power stacks. Power stack deal above what? Kiosk Bell. We talking about this one? I just went over this. Didn't I? Did I not go? Maybe I didn't go over it. Two forty nine. You're getting. Oh, maybe I, I talked all about the battery packs. Listen, I don't even know if I, I did. I tell you to like go here, where where the wall explains. Pass lithium and, and, and the power stack batteries. Go to that video. You'll see all about it. The test had that test and all kind of stuff. This is a 1.7 amp hour power stack battery. It will give you the watts out compatible comparable to a five amp hour cylindrical cell pack. They have a five amp hour power stack battery pack. I don't know what the comparable watts are, and they have a then they have a charger. It's $249. Sorry, I might have I might have just like breezed past it. Apologize. Chaka Gillis says red or yellow, leave the teal back in 20, 2005. Chaka Gillis is another person. Like, he would be like, I, if he came to, to, to Rigid and Ryobi, he would be telling all of them, yo, they know who Chaka Gillis was. It's like, who's that Chaka Gillis character that I, we see comment in your stream? Chaka Gillis is infamous. But um, he, just, he just doesn't like, he doesn't like Ryobi. It just is what it is. But we like Chaka Gillis. 1997, they got a 21 piece black and gold, which includes a half inch drill bit. Half inch drill bits are, are they're hard to come by nowadays in, in packs that are 20 bucks. Hashtag just saying. Back to the Mr. Fusion. All right, <clears throat> here's the deal. Here's the deal on this. Right, Raven, listen, bro. If it makes sense, it makes sense. Like, you know, I, you know what the thing is, Riot Raven? Here's the deal. I, I, the, the one thing that irks me kind of uh, in the shorts, um, in the shorts uh, content sometimes are people are very, like YouTube is a, like for me at least, you know, YouTube, it was a place to, to learn stuff. It was the public broadcast um, on the internet. And it seems like people that are in the trades or, or watch a lot of trades content, I, don't, I can't really tell. They will, when people ask questions or if we pose questions that are more suited to homeowners or DIYers or people just starting to get you know, into the trades, people will be like, if you don't know that, if they don't know that, they shouldn't be in the trades. They shouldn't be in the trades. People, you have to start somewhere. So why are you, are you, insulting people that are asking a question or don't know something or if they're going to seek out the information or we're trying to share information to people that are just getting started or don't know something the same, this is the thing that, that, that blows my mind these are the same people that go if they don't know that they shouldn't be in the trades that will be that will come 
into chats and say, you know, we don't have enough help in the trades. People don't want to join the trades. Why do you think people don't want to join the trades? Because they don't want to be belittled by tradespeople that have some experience. It's like you want to be a gatekeeper, like on information. Like, why? Do you want more people to join the trades or not? Why are you why are you harassing people that maybe don't know as much as you? It doesn't make sense to me. My point is, is that in short form content, we try to give little snippets of information to get people interested in learning more stuff. And I think that YouTube is a great platform for people to learn things. I don't understand why people are so negative about people wanting to learn stuff. I, I, I just am so confused. It is very like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it sometimes. I just don't get it. My point is, is that you can only give so much information in one in a one minute short form video. David Krause, my man, he says hello from the Aldena, Cal, Alde, Aldenado, California, from the left coast. He says near Victor, Victorville between LA and lost, lost, lost wages. Are you messing with me right now? Is it really lost wages, Cosbo? That's right, Scott Hayward. There are no stupid questions. I gotta tell you, I think that Carrie Condor would a huge 20 bean holler. Says, hi Vince and the missus. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Always love, got love in my heart for Shaka and Ryobi. Room for both. Vince, any recommendations for lumber to choose for painted built-ins for a home office? I would tell you, I don't know exactly where you're going. I, I will tell you that I appreciate the twenty dollars uh, number one. Number two, uh, we've been on multiple projects lately where, where we've really tried to, I always have, have said over the course of a lot of years that, and I, 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 Carrie, I'll assume that you're not in the city. If you were close to the city, I would tell you to go to, um, I would tell you to go to CNR, okay, in, in the city and go there because I know they have great stuff. I will say this, that for straight lumber and, and, and wood, uh, yeah, the lumber yards really are not doing that great. And I guess it's just because they're not selling the amounts they need to to keep fresh inventory coming through. So, uh, Las Vegas, David Krause, yo cuss. Go put, go put a couple bucks on, on, on black for me. So, I would say this. I don't know where you're exactly where you're at, but I know that uh, my friend Richard over at Finnish Carpentry TV has been using um, specific uh, wood and building materials, especially for his mantles and his, a lot of his, um, a lot of his, um, I mean, he does all Finnish Carpentry, all of his molding packages and stuff. Go on over to Richard, go to Finnish Carpentry TV and take in some of, of his content. I know he has many, he has one particular, I'll leave it to him to tell you, but one particular recommendation for 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 Finnish uh, Finnish lumber, one by uh, a three quarter wood, five quarter wood, so five quarter board. So you're you're gonna want to go over there and check him out. It's Finnish Carpentry TV. Hello, Anthony Lu Leuts. He says the dimensions are widely cut, wildly cut on a lot of lumber. Anthony Lutzi. I couldn't, I could not agree with, with Anthony Leuti more. I, I feel like Anthony Leuti is a, is a, probably a fine carpenter himself that has experienced multiple lumber yards that have provided wildly cut dimensions on, on dimensional two by lumber. Uh, he just seems like a, such a knowledgeable individual. So he is correct. Randy Matthews says, Vance, did I tell you you look great for 65 years old? Cusbo, I appreciate that, Randy Matthews. It, feel, it really makes me feel good coming from a, a young man like yourself. We got the Waltz countersink bit set, 1997. This is definitely not my favorite counter bit, favorite counter bit sink set, countersink bit set from the Waltz. But hey, listen, if you need them, 20 bucks. We have the DeWalt Atomic 850, $99. They're blowing that baby out because they got the XR860 on the way and the 870. I can't wait until it comes out. I'm going to tell everybody right now. I got mine. I got my set on alert for when they come in stock for pretty much for pre-order. As soon as they come in stock, I'm going to make my hands on that DeWalt. 
because I want to put it in Jimmy's hands because I'm going to spank him. I'm still going to beat him with a Milwaukee. That might be the first TTR back, cuz, I'm pretty sure. Charles Zimmerman, I gotta tell you, bro, I don't know if it's because it's 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 young young growth wood or what the deal is, but I, I don't know if they're trying to get more boards out of the same size trees or what the deal is. But but Anthony Leuzzi, I know, can tell you. He says, I work with quite a few good tradesmen, and I agree the tradesmen can teach other trades. That's just true, Anthony Leuzzi. You you seem like a tradesman that can teach tradesmen a bunch of great stuff. Here's the thing. Anthony, I'm sure Anthony Leuzzi can tell you that, like it's bizarre like like two by eights and two by tens they're coming in all over the place one end of the board would be like i don't know like they're they're just it's crazy like if if you had a sloping house you might be good running some of some of these some of these two by you know two by uh, members could straighten you out if you already had like huge dips yo they got the 20 volt belt sander at 249 bear tool as well as the one the one inch SDS plus D handle rotary hammer at 179. What's going on with D Walt? We got those black and golds. Look at it. this is the tw- they're saying 21 piece, right? At 29.97. This does have the one inch or the half inch, right? But then they have it here, 19.97. 19. So 21 pieces at 19.97, and then they have this kit here, black and gold. At twenty nine ninety seven. So if you're not subscribed or watching the videos, you and you didn't know those two those two different displays were in the store, you could potentially pay ten dollars more because you didn't know that this one for nineteen ninety seven is actually available right now. But now you know. Get subscribed. Never pay or overpay for tools ever again. Yo, five amp hour XR at 149. It's pretty funny. <laughs> so if we go over to the uh, if we go over to the outdoor power, this is probably marked down to 99. I want to go take a look. And they have the the atomic at 129. This is their compact hammer drill. People will complain this has a plastic chuck, but you know, listen, this is one of them things. This is their compact series. It's not their homeowner grade. Like people go homeowner grade? No, it's their compact series. So. It's not their XR, it's their compact series. They're all contractor grade. It's just that this is their more compact and lightweight. That's why it has the plastic chuck. Carry Condor. Oh, he's not talking to me. Wait, what? Good, not talking to me. That's fine. Yo, look at this. 549. They got the D-Wall 780. Look at it. This thing's a beast of money maker. This has got the this has got the um, the wall their cut line system. It's a double bevel slider. This thing is, is like a staple in the in the contractor construction industry. People, I would be like, you know, I would be like, yo, it's one of the best motor saws. People are like, oh no, it's not the Capex. It's not this. It's not you know. It's a contractor rate. You have to understand. That's that's my point of reference. So. It is one of the best, when I say the best, sometimes I, I should finish the sentence more completely. It is the, one of the best motor saws at, that, at a price point that makes sense that you're gonna not have in a shop. You're gonna take it from job site to job site. It will make you a ton of money. They have a tough system, two point dose, amigo. $75 for the, uh, the medium toolbox. They got the small toolbox of 55, and then buck 09 gets you the, the, the rolling box. Whoa, yo, a, a buck 09 for their rolling box. Way cheaper than everybody else. Here's the deal. They have the Waltz Tough Series. This is their Tough Series uh, tape measure, 25 footer. Now listen, here's the deal. I could probably like show you to stand out in the store, do what I did a little bit with the, the Milwaukee, but instead, just go to this video here. You'll see the stand out. You're going to see the. She's going to do the coin machine and like get really loud. Okay. Here. As long as I'm not in your way. Oh, no, you're not in my okay. way. Okay. She said I might just go. Thank you. Beautiful. I, you know, I like the sounds of the coins. It'll make me feel like I'm at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> we just need some flashing lights now. I'll be all good. Um, the, one of the cards will lock before the end of the 
<laughs> Thank you. It's twenty four ninety seven. We got that the, the tape measure. Twenty four ninety seven. We got their twenty ounce rip claw hammer. I will tell you this much: they have some of their uh, their quick clamps from the wall. Nineteen ninety seven. This is a hundred pound trigger clamp. Here's the deal: it's, it's you're not going to be clamping cabinets together. If you know this is not for cabinetry and such. This is just for general purpose. I will let everybody know though: if you're looking in the rest of the store, it seems like they're bringing in newer quick clamps from the wall so they're clearancing out some of the older quick clamps you could potentially get like 50 percent off you should check your clearance section 1997 they have a 10 piece screwdriver set yo this is magnetic as well here's the thing though they don't have their pluses and minuses like they have them labeled here okay but they don't have them on the screwdriver a little bit different mike oh it's nick monson what is your record for kind of your, your recommendation. recommendation? Here's the deal. If you want to see my recommendation for my favorite the wall countersink bit set, go right here to this video. Go check that out. Nick Monson, I will tell you this much. That would be for, for DeWalt. I have some other recommendations. You could probably find them on the channel as well, but I'm gonna put that link there for you. It'll be there later. They have two four amp hours at 129. It's a two pack shaker. They have that combo kit that includes DeWalt's atomic drill, uh, drill driver and their one-handed recip saw coming two two amp hour batteries. Plus they have this crazy, I don't know what that charger is. Looks kind of funky in a bag for 199. I have a whole bunch of bare tools here as well. Here we go, 99 bucks. We got the DeWalt five amp hour. Remember I said if we go to the other section, we'll probably see a five amp hour battery for $99. Well, there it is. Whoops, there it is. 129, we got the DeWalt Atomic Max. Brushless, half inch, 20 volt, compact hammer drill. Once again, this is their compact, so it has that plastic chuck. Whoa. Let's just breeze past the, what's it called here? So outdoor power, we've gone over a whole bunch of outdoor power. Okay, but if you come towards in this, in this location, you can see they have like soft side storage here from Husky. They're, they're, it looks like that they have new, new lower prices or being clearanced out. Like they have <clears throat> the Husky 12 inch bags, they're down from $24.98 to $6.33. Five inch utility bags are down to $9.40. Like you can see some of these, st some of this stuff is, is marked down pretty doggone nice. There are some other deals we've gone over in at last week. So I don't, I don't wanna waste too much time showing you the same deals. I wanna go over Mr. Fusion. What's wrong with you? Listen, at least be funny. Don't complain about ridiculous stuff. Complain about like funny stuff. I want to go over before before we leave because I saw these. I, I picked up some of the swivel swivel sockets this week when I was here. I was like, oh, I need these. But in your location, you might be finding uh, I will tell you, it seems like all of the metrics are always gone. But the Husky uh, Flex combination wrench sets with ratcheting box end, they're marked down from 70 bucks to 35 bucks. Maybe they have the metric in your location, but they have standard and metric. Are both marked down. Earlier this week, I got um, two seconds. Yeah, no, go ahead. Where Thank you. you. Been, I like when you do that. I appreciate it. We got, they have the, um, the T impact sockets. These are marked down 10 bucks. Okay. But then I saw the impact sockets here. These are three H drives on rails from Husky. These are $26.97 for the standard, right? They're down to 703. They have the, now if you're able to get, if you're able to get the metric in your location, right? They're down from 32 to 833. These were here earlier. They're gone now. I picked up the metric. I had I bought the metric earlier in the week. There was one kit left. I bought it. It was $65. That's 
down to 1703. I scored that one. They had standard, they're gone now. But their their sockets on swivel. So they're they're similar in in they're similar in design to these here. The with the universal joint. But they're they're like, I said to Jimmy, do I need these? And he said to me, No, you don't need them. But he goes, you might need them later on. Get them now. He was, he was like, you might as well get them. I thought I saw more yellow tags earlier in the week, but I don't believe I see any now. So, I wanted to share those clearance deals. Thanks, brother. Have a good weekend, man. Thank you. I want to say a special thank you to those of you that have monetarily contributed to the stream because... T-Mobile, they're not down with the, I don't understand why they're not down with the tool deals. And it kind of hurts my feelings. I called T-Mobile. I'm like, listen, T-Mobile, can you help out? And they were like, no, we can't help out because we don't, we don't care about tool deals. We care about, we care about bandwidth. And if you want bandwidth, you're going to have to pay for it. That's what they said. Now. I'm like, okay, fine. So we appreciate all of you, good luck guys, that have monetarily contributed to this stream. I also want to say a thank you to those of you that are here from the Mod Squad. Here's the deal. If, if, if you're seeing a viewer that has a blue wrench in their name, next to their name, they're probably not just a moderator here on this channel. They're probably a creator on social media as well. If you'd be so inclined, check out their channel. They, you're, you're, if you like what you see, consider getting subscribed. Listen, we appreciate the job that they're doing. We want to help lift them up because everybody knows the best way to get from A to Z is to keep it VCG rated. Let me see here. Balaki says, thanks, Vince. Go get a Pete's tomato pie. Yo, Pete, yo, Balaki was up in Burlington County. He went to the uh, farmer's market uh -huh. up there. And uh, he said, there's a Pete's tomato pie. He <laughs> said, it's, 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 ex it's excellente. He said, we have to ch check it out. Dude, where we go? Lomb Lombardi's? Where was it? Uh, I don't remember. Do Lorenzo? Do Dull. I can't remember. De Lorenzo's. We went to De Lorenzo's in Trenton uh, a couple weeks ago. We're pretty doggone good. I'm going to be honest with you. But I, I like a thicker crust. Yo, he said, yo, Chaka Gillis is getting all spiritual. You see it? He says, you all take care and God bless. And as always, shine on. You're the best, Chaka Gillis. Moses says. Kaboom! Did he say kaboom? All right, everybody. Here's the deal. I want to say a special thank you to each and every one of you, the coolest community on all of the interwebs, for everything that you do. All of the views, all of the chat, all of the comments, all of the thumbs up, all of the comments. Did I say I had comments already? Listen, I appreciate every single one of you for being here. You're the coolest community on all of the interwebs. Here's the deal. I think tomorrow, leave it down in the, in the, in the comment section. Tomorrow, I, I, I might have a very special special Sunday stream if you all want to see it but I just got to know if you really want to see it because I don't want to I don't want to waste you know I don't want to I don't want to do it I don't want to do the stream if you don't want to see the stream I'll duck down so let me know down in the comment section let me see here could it be uh, consumer grade swivel sockets can be weak yeah but here's the deal like you know what am I going to do what, what can I do? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't spin wrenches. Okay, Jay. Let me know, Jay. Put it in the comment section. I don't spin wrenches for the, uh, you know, like, for, for a living. I do it for the fun of it. So if it helps me to get in, in you know, in a tight spot, so be it. All right, Louis V. Listen, I, listen, I will run the stream tomorrow. It will be a live. You're going to get my full commentaries. All right, I'll do it. We'll do it. Kevin Schmiff is in the house. All right, everybody. I don't know. We had an early, we had an early, uh, what is it, siesta? We had an early dinner. So we're going to go have like a, a snack and a dessert. I don't know what we're going to have for dessert, though. No TTR, Randy Matthews, not tomorrow. Randy Matthews, here's the deal, Cosbo. I want to know, you coming down for, for the TTR? We, we want you live on the stream. I heard, I heard that, that you're going to, Jimmy might challenge you to a TTR. That's what it is. Or, or me, Randy. We gotta see where you're, when you have free time. All right, everybody. I know you don't want me to end this stream, but here's the deal. I gotta go. I know you're gonna be disappointed, but listen, don't be disappointed. Go watch this next video. You're gonna love it. It's it's more tools. It's, it's great. You're gonna love it. Let me see. He says I come for the TTR if you go bald. Says Noah. All right, well, that's good, Noah. 
Vince, are you a Delco guy? Sure am, Cosbo. Sure am. Yo, Randy Matthews versus, that might be a good one. Randy Matthews against Crazy Mike in the TTR. Yo, Snap-on Tools loves me. 